Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Call the Wild and recently I've had a few requests to do a muzzleloader video so that's what we're going to be doing today and we are on Silver Ridge Peaks. It's around pronghorn time so we're going to start out with those and then once it becomes mule deer time I plan to transition to muleys so hopefully we can find something decent. I'm still after a big rack diamond mule deer but we have not come across one unfortunately. Hopefully today will be the day. Okay, so this guy's alarmed and downwind, so we're going to have to go ahead and take him out, I think. If he will stop. That is a dead pronghorn right there. So, as most of you that have used this gun probably know, the muzzleloader is very, very powerful. It pretty much will one-shot anything that is deer size, so definitely an awesome, awesome weapon doesn't have nearly as much range as some other guns but still really really strong so here we go here's the first one that we have killed and it is right long liver stomach you guys can already see the crazy penetration of the muzzleloader it honestly just destroys anything in its path which is why it is a super super good weapon especially for taking out diamonds uh, you pretty much can't really mess up a diamond when it comes to uh, not getting enough penetration. Any angle that you fire at, there's a good chance that you'll hit something. Alright, so we have a level 4 pronghorn right here. We have to be really fast with this. Oh my gosh, I can't believe we actually got that shot. It was about to flee. It did just switch to fleeing and we managed to quickly get up and take the shot. I can't believe we actually managed to take that guy down. I honestly thought he was going to spook off before we even got lined up, but... He stayed there just long enough for us to get a shot squeezed off and hopefully there is something else that didn't run away but I think after that shot they're probably all gone so let's go pick up that four. Now I wanted to target that four out of all of them because it's going to be the best for respawns and we still need to get ourselves a big pronghorn because I'm pretty sure the best one we have is like 103 and I've seen them up into the high 104s so that's something that we do need to eventually get, but uh, hopefully taking out this four right here will work us towards getting a decent sized diamond. Because I've had plenty of diamonds, just none of them have been massive. But let's see this guy right here. He is an 80.90. Level 4 easy. And this guy does have some of the like cool hooked in horns. Definitely a good looking four. Got decent sized cutters and everything. Overall, not too bad. And double lung, as is to be expected with the muzzleloader. Alright, so we're getting really, really close to the mule deer drink time, which means we'll probably only hit up one more pronghorn spot after this. So let's go ahead and try to take this guy down. We'll zero it to 200. I think that should be fine. And let's try this. Yeah, that did the trick. Definitely did the trick there. I would have taken out that bison, but unfortunately you cannot use the muzzleloader on class 9 animals. It only goes up to class 8, sadly. So that bison will have to wait for another day, but that was a level 4 bison, so in a different video we'll probably try to take him out. Maybe sometime in the near future we'll go out for some bison. It seems like last time I did a bison video you guys enjoyed it, so... That could possibly be a future thing, and that is a level 4 right there. We should probably take this out before we move. So let's get a better angle. I think this is going to be perfect right here, but that is a level 4. Not a huge, huge one, but still needs to go down. So let's get lined up. And we somehow missed that. I even aimed above its back, so... That's a little unfortunate. I guess we maybe didn't compensate enough. We will have to maybe do a little bit of practice shooting at the target range with this in the future just to kind of see what the drop is like at long range because that's something I've never tested. But there we go. This guy was nothing special, just a level 3, but once again, it went plenty into the vitals and took out the lung and liver. Oh my gosh. Wait, oh, that's got a 104 upper estimate. Okay, that that is really cool. This is what I've been looking for. 
Oh my gosh. Okay, we need to get close enough to take a shot on this guy. Because I don't trust the muzzleloader at over 200. It, as you guys just saw, it wasn't exactly... Not, not exactly the most accurate shot I've taken, so... We definitely want to get to 200 or less for this guy, because that is a really high estimate. Yeah, that guy is a monster. It's easily going to top our previous best one. I'm pretty sure our current best in the lodge is 103.7. And that's got a 104 estimate, so I feel like there's no way that it's under 104. Alright, so we are at 200 meters. This should be perfect. The high zeroing for the muzzleloader is 200 meters, so... Let's go ahead and prone down. Let's try to flatten down this grass so that we can actually see. And then we will try to take this shot. Want to make sure we're on the highest point so that we don't accidentally hit the ground. This should be perfect right here. So let's get ready to take this guy down. That is a dead pronghorn. That is awesome. So, I wasn't expecting to find something good this quick, so I'm not sure what we're gonna do for the rest of the video, because we haven't really killed much. Uh, I guess we'll go into mule deer like I had planned on doing, but this is really cool. This is a nice little find. Okay then. <laughs> I mean, I, I didn't think I'd actually hit that, but I guess we'll throw that in the video. <laughs> well, here he is. Look at that monster. The curl on this guy's horns is insane. That is so much curl, and those cutters are huge. That is awesome. We got a nice picture of this guy, so... Let's go ahead and claim him and see if it is our new personal best. It's exactly 104. This is our personal best pronghorn. As I was saying when we first spotted this guy, I've killed probably between 10 and 15 diamond pronghorns since Silver Ridge released. And none of them have been this big. Closest we got was 103.7. This is absolutely huge. Now, I have seen somebody kill one before that was close to 105, so they can get bigger. But for now, this is the best one that we've ever killed. And we got a perfect shot from 200 meters with the uh, 50 cal muzzleloader. That is absolutely awesome. <laughs> super, super cool. And it's got a little bit of character in the horns, too. They're not completely even, which is also really, really cool. I like that a lot. This is a good one to put in the lodge. This will definitely replace the one that we already have in there that's like 103.7. That is awesome. Well, here's the one that we, uh, trick shot of sorts, I guess. <laughs> that was interesting, but I'm honestly surprised that it worked. I, I wasn't really talking when I did it because I didn't expect it to actually work out the way it did, but... That's kind of cool. It's perfect neck shot. Nice. I'll take that. <laughs> All right. Let's move on to some mule deer. Okay. So that right there is a pretty decent looking buck. We'll probably try to take him out. He is a level four. Uh, we also have some elk in the area. It looks like along with a few other muleys. And ooh, that's actually a bigger one. So I guess we'll take that, and if we get a chance, we'll take this guy too, but he'll probably be long gone by the time we finish reloading. That's the one downside to using the muzzleloader, but you can surpass that by bringing two muzzleloaders. Uh, but just for the sake of realism, I didn't bring a second one along with me. But let's try to find that guy again and then take him out. I really hope he's not behind this tree or else this is going to be interesting and I guess it would help if I'd reload that probably would benefit me all right let's get this guy down think we got him if that tree wasn't in front of him then he should be dead 
It was kind of hard to tell if he was behind or in front, but I think he was in front of it. So we should be okay. We should be at least. Oh yeah, this guy was way in front of the tree, so that's good. Now, I don't know exactly what this guy's rack looked like, but it seemed decent, and yeah, that's definitely a half-decent rack. It's one of the cooler-looking racks that I really, really like, so that's nice. 241 on this guy. Very cool-looking buck. It is a little bit asymmetrical, as you can see. This point, or these two points right here, are kind of bent outwards a little bit, which is kind of cool. I like that. Very nice-looking mule deer buck. A little bit over gold. Not too bad of a deer. Okay. That's actually two really nice bucks. This one for sure is going down and oh my gosh, three very nice bucks. Okay, well I found where all of my big deer are. So let's take this guy out. Because we're only going to be able to get one with the muzzleloader sadly. And we want to make it this guy because he does have the highest estimates. So let's get him down. Yeah, that'll take him down easy. And yep, he actually dropped on the spot. Nice. All right, here is that mule deer. That is a good looking buck for sure. This is kind of like that last one, but way wider. Yeah, 267, that's a huge deer. That is a monster of a mule deer. Very nice. I will take that any day. I love how wide this one is. It's wide, but it's not too wide. I feel like this is the perfect width for a mule deer. This looks super, super good. All right, well, I think that's enough hunting. Let's go ahead and go into the lodge and check out this pronghorn. I'm very, very interested in seeing what it looks like compared to the 103.7 that we had previously. I wanna see if there's any major differences because it is 0.3 higher. All right, so we have our 103 right here. We're gonna temporarily take down this guy so that we can compare the two. So this guy was 104.08. That's a pretty big pronghorn and there doesn't seem to be a ton of difference between the two. Let's get them in the same pose so it's easier to tell. Yeah, there's really not too much difference, honestly. They seem to be relatively the same. Uh, obviously, this one's slightly bigger, but visually, there's not a ton of difference, but we're for sure going to keep the 104 here. Nice. So, I'm really liking the way this wall is looking. Between the albinos and the diamonds, I think it's looking pretty good. Now, obviously, we have our biggest albino one upstairs. But that one is reserved for the position next to that mule deer, considering they were taken virtually next to each other. So those ones will stay. The rest of the pronghorn, though, are on this wall right here. I think we do have a piebald somewhere, but for the most part, all of them are on that wall. And I think it's looking pretty good. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. A uh, little bit different than what we've done previously. We haven't done a ton of muzzleloader hunting, so I really hope you guys enjoyed that. I had seen it getting requested a little bit more recently, so I figured we might as well do a video with the muzzleloader. And we managed to get something that we have been looking for for a while. It barely made the 104, but it still made it, and that's really all that matters. But if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that like button. It helps the channel out a ton. And if you're new here and you're enjoying the content, hit that subscribe button because I post daily Call of the Wild content along with the Hunter Classic content and various other hunting games and similar genres. So until next time, peace my dudes. Hope you all have a fantastic day. If you are new here and you are liking what you see, consider subscribing to the channel and turning notifications on. Also, if you want to help the channel grow, be sure to like the video because this alone can help the video and my channel do better. But that's going to be it for me. Peace, my dudes. I hope you all have a fantastic day.